Today is Saturday, 25th of September, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, When God Speaks in Prophecy. Our theme scripture is taken from Deuteronomy 18, verse 22 of the Message Translation, and it says, If what the prophet spoke in God's name doesn't happen, then obviously God wasn't behind it. The prophet made it up. Forget about him. Hallelujah. When God gives a prophetic word, it'll come to pass whether or not you believe it. Pastor begins. Think about this. Jesus said to Simon Peter, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. As you find in Matthew 26 verse 34. Did Peter believe it? No. In fact, he insisted, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny or disown you. That we can find in Matthew 26 verse 35 of the Amplified Classic. But did the words of Jesus come to pass? Yes. Peter denied Jesus and disowned him. In fact, on a certain occasion, Peter cursed and swore that he didn't know Jesus. How about the story of Judas? When Jesus told his disciples one of them would betray him, Judas Iscariot didn't accept what Jesus said about him, neither was he happy about it. Then the Bible tells us in Luke 22 verse 3, neither was he happy about it. Then the Bible tells us in Luke 22 verse 3, that an evil spirit entered into Judas Iscariot. When that happened, he walked out of where Jesus and the disciples were, went to the chief priest to conclude arrangements to betray Jesus. Look through the scriptures. You will find several prophetic words to kings and prophecies to nations. They didn't have to believe those prophetic words. But the words came to pass nonetheless. Hallelujah. However, pastor says, when you believe the prophetic word, you'll be blessed. More so when the word of prophecy concerns you for your benefit. Glory to God. For example, when Mary received the prophetic words about the birth of Jesus, she said, Be it unto me according to thy word, as you find in Luke 1 verse 38. Mary believed and gave birth to the Lord Jesus Christ, as you find in Luke 2, 67, according to prophecy. The Bible says, And blessed is she that believed, for they shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. That we can find in Luke 1, verse 45. The also pastor says, When you believe, those words of blessings come to pass in your life. The difference, however, is that when God speaks prophetically about your nation, about your time, your course of life, whether or not you believe it, it's going to happen anyway. So, Pastor says in conclusion, what you do is to learn the word, understand the word, find and take your place in that prophetic word, and you'll be victorious always. Praise God. And thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take our confession now, many to the whole of our hearts. Please say with me, I've found and taken my place in Christ. I'm in dominion. The glory of God is revealed in and through me. I continually walk stronger and greater every day by the Spirit. Victorious by the Word. Through me. The truth of the gospel is proclaimed and many receive salvation, healings, blessings, and miracles today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, for further study, please read Isaiah 55 verse 11, 1 Timothy 1 verse 18, and 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20. Wow! Would you go back to those rock-shattering prophecies? given to you, make war with them and see them come to pass? Oh, pastor says, what you do is to learn the word, understand the word, find and take your place in that prophetic word and you'll be victorious always. Hallelujah. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, 
this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day and by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you Lord for saving my soul I have eternal life now I'm a child of God now I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.